superheroes journey together here at A Fest, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, and I grew up with these challenges, and I had, you know, dyslexia, and I have, I flip things around in my mind, and part of my issues、um, growing up, and I flipped it in my mind. I was like, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. When you're in a position of power, you have great responsibility to wield that power. And well, and the opposite is also true. With great responsibility comes great power, right? When when you take responsibility for something, you have great power to what? To change things, to transform things, to make things better. When I said responsibility, you know, with great responsibility comes great power. The most important thing to be responsible for is how you feel. Does that make sense? And who controls how you feel? How many people are feeling pretty good right now? Your brain is like a supercomputer, and your self-talk is a program that will run. So if you tell yourself you're not good at remembering names, you will not remember the name of the next person you meet because you program your supercomputer not to. And I always tell people that、um, I don't think the brain is like a supercomputer. It's I, I think it's a it's a weak metaphor、uh, for what it, it is because you know this is like a living computer that could do so much more and has different、um, capabilities. But I would say that、um, your self-talk is important, and it is the program that will run. And I always tell people to keep it positive, keep it empowering,、um, because Your mind is always eavesdropping on your self-talk, right? And you have to be careful what you say to yourself because it's this unconscious command. So I would be very careful, like when I'm get, when I get nervous or I feel like I'm. I think some of the most successful people live at the edge of their limits, you know, and they and they play there also as well. And so whenever I feel in my nervous system, I feel like I can't do it, then I feel like I really must do it because I feel like how we do anything is how we do everything. Starts your day with、uh, a success. Right, you want to start your day with positive momentum. There's a science to momentum, and it's a nice checkmark to be able to have. And you want to start your day also with excellent, meaning that, and they do this at the military, right?、Um, another reason you do that is because your brain loves a clean environment. Because having a clean environment is important. Because it's kind of like you know when you clean your desk or your office or your desktop, and all of a sudden you have clarity of mind here. And so it's important to have a, a you know what I call a quick brain, if you will, to have a clean environment. And I, one of the best benefits of it is when you come back at the end of your day, you know, and you you. Cry Crushed it, right? And you won, but you come here also. No matter what kind of day you have, it's like you have you're, you're coming back to success, right? You're coming to something that's successful here, and it's a nice way to end the day also as well. I mean, I, it comes. You have all these great ideas when you take a shower. I actually took six showers this morning just to prepare for this.、Um, the next thing I do is I drink a tall glass of water, and people are like, oh, that's not rocket science.、Um, but I just want to remind you how important it is to be hydrated because your brain is only about two percent of your body weight, but it requires twenty percent of the nutrients. And the thing is, after you sleep, you lose a lot of water, so you need to super hydrate. There's this body-brain connection that using your body in certain ways actually stimulates your brain. Body moves, your brain grooves. So we teach a lot of different exercises in our programs on how to use your body to maximize your your intelligence. One of the ways to prevent that and reduce that is by reviewing your day. Like, what did you do when you wake up? You know, what did you eat for lunch? Conversations that you had, and it could be difficult at first, but by doing it, remember, there's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory. And an untrained memory. After that, besides reviewing my day and, and then highlighting one or two things I was grateful for that day, I always like to, to end my day with gratitude and start my day with gratitude. As you'll find out, that you don't have to wait for a greater life to be full. You can be grateful, and you'll have a greater life. And we've done episodes on how to rewire your brain using gratitude for appreciation, for peace of mind, for productivity, performance. But what I'm doing right before bed is I actually using that same power of your mind to wake up. I ask myself a question. I kind of meditate on a question that、um, would help move my life or my mission more forward, or something that you want to be able to solve. Is use that power to harness because you come up with treasures in that night. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll often have dreams about it. And so the very first thing I do is I remember my dreams. Now listen, if you have it, I'll put it in the link as we always do.